Okay, so our live bidding section is about to begin. Let me close Discord there for a second. So I will be joining your Discord channels to take your bids. You obviously don't have to go anywhere. I'll come to you. I will be taking audio directly from Discord and putting it to YouTube, though. So obviously, you know, watch your language and whatnot. Uh, make sure your bid is professional. And if you have any supplemental materials, you can upload them to Canvas. I'll get them live as quickly as I can. You can also always share your screen. Just make sure whoever's doing it has the best internet on your team. So just give your materials to whoever it is that happens to have the best internet there. I'm going to check and see if I've got any bid submissions yet on Canvas. I don't. Um, you could also upload, the, upload them directly on your Discord channel. I can get them that way too. Uh, but that's got uh, like a 10 megabyte limit, so that would only probably be paper, maybe really, really short recordings. Okay, so again, a couple more minutes of prep, and then probably about 4.15 we're going to start the bidding. Somebody asked what order that we are going to go in with the projects. Uh, I have not decided, so I'll probably just do a random order. I'll probably just pick a project at random and see who's interested in it. Now, I will come back to projects maybe if nobody wins them. So if you want to do this in some particular strategy, by all means, whatever. Uh, yeah, up to you how you want to strategize it. But if you don't come out with a winning bid by the end of class today, it's about 4.45. That's not bueno. So if you don't have a winning bid by 4.45, I'm going to keep going uh, maybe for another 15-20 minutes after that. So if you want to stick around and keep bidding, you can. You obviously don't have to. Once class is over, you get out of here and do your thing. Uh, if you haven't won a bid and you don't stay after, I'll just assign one to you. But the goal is to win a bid within the 30 minutes allotted. If your bid runs on too long, Company Co is only going to give you about a minute each to say or present your piece. If your bid runs down for too long, Company Co is just going to cut you off and probably not give it to you. So make your pitch quickly. Okay, I'll be back in about a minute and then we'll begin the bids. Okay, that's my audio, and I've got the Discord audio synchronized too. I'm going to enable my camera as well so you can see me, and I'll turn that off if you have anything to share. Okay, we are live at the Customer Co. bidding process. Welcome! to the customer co bidding process. The first project that we're going to have up for bid today is Frogfinder. Frogfinder is our newest frog collecting video game from Bill, the CEO's son. 
So, who would like to bid on Frog Finder today? If you could post your intent to bid in the Discord general chat. Anybody who wants to bid, and I will pop into your team to take your bid for Frog Finder. Sanix would like to bid on Frog Finder. All right, coming at you, Sanix. Hello, Sanix. Hey there, Sanix. Go ahead. What do you got for me? What's relatively quickly? What time are you expecting to be done? At the latest, the bare minimum would be done in, in my opinion, seven months. With then three months of the time where we have to polish everything. Oof. All right, and, and what's that going to cost us in American dollars? So it's uh, six, so sixty dollars a week, five days a week for ten months is. My calculator isn't working. Does someone have a working calculator? It sounds like a lot of money, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your bid, Sanix. You know, we're we're looking for a a slightly cheaper option here. This is Bill's project, and uh, we all love Bill here. You know, Bill Bill Stevenson, uh, the CEO's son. Uh, he's a great guy. But uh, would we be willing to spend a quarter million dollars on Bill? Um, probably not. But we'll see. Yeah. We're gonna go to MacroHard Incorporated and uh see what they've got to say about this so go go Dang, ahead macro hard the... got a stream going i'll check that out that's just myself mm -hmm. macro hard do you have a bid for frog finder are you gonna go finder Okay, Macro Hard. We're going to circle back to you. Got some technical Adam. difficulties there. So let's check out. Adam, we can't hear you, and I can see you talking. There's Scuff. Hey, Scuff. While Macro Hard's dealing with their technical issues, you can swoop in and steal their thunder. Hello, can you hear me, sir? I sure can. What do you got for All me? All right, nice to talk to you. Okay, so for our Frog Finder, uh, we here at Scuffed Co. do appreciate uh, a game. Uh, games and we love love playing them, right? So uh, with our uh, expertise in gaming, we and we uh, estimate that this is going to take about approximately five, uh, four and a half to five months to complete. Would be our estimate for you. Okay, sounds pretty quick. But what is that in American dollars? So we're going to take. Uh, so it would be uh, assuming five months uh, times four weeks per month uh, times the five people we have here. Uh, that's a hundred uh, human. Uh, weeks, and then approximately fifty dollars per person, um, or sixty. I'm sorry, approximately sixty dollars per person. I don't do math. I'm just a business minor. What is that in? Of course, dollars. We're seeing about six, seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars. Okay. 
Well, that sounds like a fantastic deal. So for seven thousand uh, dollars, we're gonna have to give you the contract for Frog Finder, no problemo. I mean, I think that's all we need. Um, we might need to rethink some things. Okay, no backsies is the official policy of Company Co. So congratulations, seven thousand dollars for Frog Finder. <laughs> uh, we're looking forward to working with you, Scuffink. Uh, macro hard. Sorry, you snooze, you lose. Uh, this bid is over. Okay, the next project that we're going to be putting up on offer is our... Where do I have it here? Our Takamak Nuclear Fusion Simulator project. Uh, our marketing department tells us that this one is really easy, so hopefully we see some, some bids that are uh, kind of uh, acceptable for what we've decided the level of complexity is here. So does anybody want to bid on the Takamak Nuclear Fusion Project? The Takamak Nuclear Fusion Reactor Simulator. We definitely had some interest in the team. I'm going to officially award Scuff. All right, so Collective Brain Cell Incorporated wants to bid. Hey there, Collective Brain Cell. Hello. Hey. So what do you got for me for the Takamak Nuclear Fusion Simulator? Um, we estimate it will take approximately four months at a grand total of $192,000. Wow, and is that going to include all your fees, including your consultations? Yes, it is. All right. About uh, how much time did you say? Four months to get that finished? Four months. Uh, why is it going to take so long? You are asking for a nuclear uh, fusion generator uh, reactor simulator, sir. These things yeah. aren't easy. Well, marketing tells us it's easy. Marketing's an idiot. Our marketing department is one of the best in the industry. Well, clearly they don't understand nuclear fusion, so how can you say that? Well, I'm going to go talk to these Sanix folks and see if they have a, maybe a faster timeline for me. Uh, Price-wise, you know, we're kind of happy with your number, but marketing tells us that this is supposed to be a pretty easy project. So, you know, I'll, I'll turn around to Sanix, and uh, if we don't like what they have to say, we'll get back to you. Do you have anything, any last words you'd like to throw in there? Not really. All right. Thank you for your bid, Collective Brain Cell. Hello again, Sanix. Best one. Hello? Hey, Sanix. What? Welcome back. The stream is delayed, so I got confused. Yeah, sorry, the stream's going to be a few seconds, but go on. Uh, so, for the nuclear program, um, we're estimating 2.5 months of work split between five people. Uh, um, total cost around a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand American dollar dues. What are you spending so much on? Development. What, what are you just all across hour? the board? You also wanted consultation to make it accurate. So, what are you guys paying your nuclear physicists? Uh, the three hundred an hour that you said during our previous meeting. However, if we were to cut that out, we could probably cut the cost. Oh no, that's fine. So you'll be contracting our physicist. About how many hours do you think you'll be paying for? Um, at least fifteen, probably closer to thirty. Great. And then, uh, all right, what's uh, what's your hourly salary for your developers? Around um, sixty an hour. All right. Would you agree to a fifty thousand dollar penalty if the project is late? Mm. See, marketing tells us this is going to be an easy one, and two and a half months is the longest that our contractors are willing to wait. Fifty thousand is a very steep amount. Would we be able to talk it down to like a thirty thousand? Yeah, sure, we can make it thirty. Okay. Okay, if it's thirty thousand, then I'm. I think we're game. Deal. Yeah. All yeah. right, Sanix, congratulations! You got the easiest project of the bunch. 
Looking forward right. to working with you on the Takamak Nuclear Fusion Reactor Simulator. Us we at Sanix are looking forward to working with you. Thank you for your time. You as well. All right, on to our next project, the Marshmallow Song Generator. If you'd like to bid on the Marshmallow Song Generator, put that in Discord. I don't know how to spell Takamak, so I'm just going to typo it. Macrohard Co. Ltd. wants to bid. Hey there, Macrohard Co. Ltd. Sorry, I don't want to get you guys confused with the other Macrohard Inc. So you're all muted. Is this going to be one of those interpretive dance bits? Because we've had these, and we don't like these at Company Co. We completely understand, and we actually have a PowerPoint ready for you to process all the information for you. Awesome. Should I open that up? Or are you going to stream it on yours? Um, Izzy is streaming it right now. Oh, fantastic. Three slides. That's just the length we like them. Okay. Two. I like your name. I like the font. Very professional. So, Mr. Steve, we were thinking that this project is ideal for us because we are all very knowledgeable and passionate, not only about this genre of music, but Marshmallow, the artist himself, caught our eye. And let, me, let me back you up there. Um, I'm not a Zoomer. What genre is Marshmallow in again? It's like pop, electronic. He collabs with a lot of different artists from alternative to rap to R&B. Back that up again. What does collabs mean? Sorry about that, Mr. Steve. It's It means to work with other artists. They'll say, we like Marshmallow, we like your sound. We want you to give us a beat or lyrics. Ah, like Backstreet Boys. Exactly. Okay. Exactly like So you guys are Backstreet Boys fans. We are familiar with Backstreet Boys, but we aren't as big of fans as Backstreet Boys as we are with Marshmallow. All right, well, walk it forward then. I think I get it. Okay. Um, so because of our passion, we would like to make you a generous offer for ourselves with all the numbers you see here on this slide. The total would come down to $116,500, and we can get this project done in three to four months. Is that going to be in time for the summer top 40 season? Oh, marketing has another question for me. Uh, they're telling me that everybody who's a fan of Marshmallow's music is not legally old enough to work in the United States. Is that going to be a problem? It should not be an issue because there are plenty of streaming services like Apple Music and Spotify that have um, international reaches so anyone outside of that you live in a jurisdiction where there are no child labor laws because that's great um Okay, well, we're going to keep you in mind, Macrohard. I'm going to give the folks at one of the other companies here a shot as well. Uh, but very compelling. Thank you for that offer. Thank you for considering. We will talk to you shortly. Hmm. All right, so it looks like we don't have any other bids for the Marshmallow Song Generator. I have to think about that here. Uh, we've, we've got we've got a couple legal questions there, and you know we'll we'll get back to you. But uh, feel feel free to bid on another project in the meantime. 
Okay, so the next project we're going to take bids for is going to be Tic Tac. Tic Tac. Anybody want to put in a bid for Tic Tac? Oh, okay. It looks like you guys... All right, hey there. <laughs> Hey there, Cornhub. It, it sounds like you want to bid for Marshmallow as well. Yeah. All right. Have you prepared any materials? Should I be looking at anything? Yes, we we have we have prepared material. Okay. Is, is it the live stream? Should I check that out? Um. Uh. We could probably do it through. Yeah. Yeah. We could probably do it through. Um. That one. What is that going on? Well, I see a slideshow there. I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, we could probably do it through. Um, it's in progress, which makes me, you know, I'm I'm happy to see oh, that. Yeah, oh, oh wait, no, no, hold on. Um, that's that's uh, that's not the that's not the right one here. It's in um, let me let me let me do this. Last minute preparedness is a feature of most of the projects we have at Company Co. While they're bidding, by the way, if anybody okay. wants to bid on Tic Tac, uh, post your intent. All right, so well. so look at uh, the Garari Apostle for the bid that we will be doing. Okay. Uh, so this is Cornhub Inquiries by Group Seven. It's actually by your name. Uh, there. Yes, Group Seven. That's our name. You know. Nice. It's our it's our it's our form of professionalism. It, it doesn't say group um, seven, though. It says your name. Yeah, pretty much. We. It, it's uh, it's our it's our own trademark of. Uh, yeah. Who's who's the fellow with the oh, X's sure. in his eyes? There. Is... <laughs> this is Marshmallow. Um, okay. I'm actually. So I'm having an issue right now from the background. Okay. Uh, there's. I'm trying to understand why I'm hearing this double right now. I'm yeah, I think we got it. I'm hearing so much double. There we go. Okay. All right. No, I don't know why I'm hearing this from. All right. Um, I'm sorry. This is actually. Wow. That's a lot of words okay. in there. So we, our whole process can be summarized in analyzing the music, his top 50 songs, right? Uh, that would take about uh, seven and a half to 8.5 hours. Uh, because 50 songs that's incredible uh, well you... we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna be taking his top 50 because will, will you there's... give us a half price discount for 25 songs for 25 songs half price actually marketing tells me it, we it... can get away with five songs they're telling me it all just sounds the same anyway so if we just do five songs the price will actually go down by a lot we might drop down to maybe about all right give me the price uh, for five dollars so if if we're going 50 other top hits, we don't need those either hours. we're not interested in other top hits we're only interested yeah, in songs by marshmallow here i don't know what you kids are listening to these uh, days uh, backstreet brothers or whatever no need any uh, and then times 20 i'll be that's not right um uh so if, if it's gonna be about all right the background sound just went away okay thank god i don't even know what that was i actually couldn't hear myself think there was i was hearing everything double i was hearing the stream and i was hearing other stuff it was mm -hmm. oh, okay there it we sounds go. like you guys aren't very experienced in audio equipment so we're gonna give you a pass it sounds like the <laughs> other team has better more professional audio experience uh, so you know maybe try bidding on something that's not musically related but come on guys if you can't even get a, a simple speaker to work how do you expect to make the kind of complicated music that artists like marshmallow create whatever no, that happens to even... be again i have no idea I don't even well thank you for your bid guys and you know Looking forward to working with you. All right. All right. Next up, we are going to be taking bids for Tic Tac again. I haven't seen if anybody wants to bid on Tic Tac. If nobody bids on Tic Tac, we're going to take bids on GoatPad next. So Tic Tac or GoatPad, let me know which one that you're interested in. Tic Tac or Goat Pad. In the meantime, uh, marketing has gotten back to us and they've decided that the bid for Macro Hard's offer on the Marshmallow Song Generator 
uh, can go ahead. So we're going to go ahead and take Mega Hard Coats LTD's bid on the Marshmallow Song Generator. We'll get back with you to discuss some more term details after maybe maybe next week. All right, any bids for GoatPad or Tic Tac? If not, we're going to move on to Ebola Clear. Ebola Clear. So if there are no bids for GoatPad or Tic Tac, we'll move on to Ebola Clear. Okay, okay. No bids for any of these. Well then, why don't you just tell me in Discord which of the remaining projects you want to bid on for the remainder. So whichever one you want to bid on first, just tell me your group name and the name of the project you want to bid on, and we'll take your bid for the remaining projects a la carte at this point. Okay, somebody's looking uh, for a bid for a demo sensor. That's going to be, which team are we looking at here? That is the Cornhub team, I want to say, that's bidding on a demo sensor. I'm going to take, cre yep, Cornhub's team. All right, Cornhub, let's give it another go. Going on to. I can hear the Hey, Cornhub, you ready to show me what you got for what you got for the demo sensor? Demo sensor. Um, so... For demo sensor. One second. Okay. Jacob, I'll you want to take it away? Or is uh, George going to do it? Okay, I need to stop this. Oh, one, we have two streams open. It doesn't matter. I do? Ooh. Oh, I so it. what am I supposed to do? One slide. Okay. So... For the demo project, we'll need to analyze the databases provided and find out the kind of information that needs to be censored, and then develop a software that can censor different combinations of words in the database that uh, will be analyzed, and find out the combination of words that might be related to the information needed to be censored. Mind blown. I don't understand any of that stuff, but sounds pretty good. How much money is it going to cost us? Well, the total will be... 51 for $51,250. $50, and when can we expect this to go live? Our client is very interested in deploying this as soon as possible. Probably a month. A month. I think it should be enough. Excellent. All right. Sounds like you guys know what you're talking about. You know what you're doing. We're going to go ahead and give you the contract for the demo project. Anything you. else you'd like to add to the terms before we move forward? We are looking forward to work with you. We're looking forward to working with you, too. And so is our third-party client. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Let's see. And next, we're going to look at Creative Brain Cells bid for Battle Butters. Sorry, Collective Brain Cell. Hey, Collective Brain Cell. Hello. Hey. What do you have to tell me about Battle Butters? Uh, as soon as I've got my our presentation up and running, I believe you can see this, yes? I will check it out. I see it. So... In Collective Brain Cell is very passionate. Much like Company Co., we have a great hunger for success and satisfaction. We believe that developing battle butters will help quell the famished masses who lack a butter based battleship alternative. Whoa, what's battleship? That's a good attitude to have. No one will know a battleship by the time we're done. We believe we can produce this product in only two weeks for $22,400. Wow, two weeks? Is that, uh, you know, like two weeks from now? Two weeks from the beginning of development time. 
and you're going to be working your developers eight hours a day, seven days a week. You're a very committed team, sir. It, it, your believe team's in already our vision. hired. You, you've agreed to those hours. They have. Wow, that's, that's impressive. Well, I mean, who are we to tell you about labor laws in your jurisdiction? Um, sounds like a deal for us. Now, we are going to have to make one little uh, nitpick there. Uh, you, you did say the B word, and legal tells us that uh, that's going to be a, a no-go. So lay off the uh, word that rhymes with ships in the future. This is Battle Butters. I have no idea what word you're talking about, sir. It's been struck from my memory already. Totally unrelated product. Okay, well, congratulations on your win. Looking forward to working with you. Too, sir. Have a good day. You as well. Okay, so Battle Butters. What was that? Something like 12,000? I'll go back and look at it if I'm wrong there, or you can correct me if I'm wrong. Looks like 12,000 in two weeks. Now, just a reminder, folks, you do have to commit to the time frames that you give me. All right, so we're looking at uh, five devs. Sorry, you snooze, you lose. I mean, yeah, I can't beat two weeks. That kind of timeline, just too appealing to company go. Okay, I'll edit that uh, 22. Jeez, penny pinchers, huh? Five Devs is going to bid on Okamon. Okay, hey, Five Devs. Oh, I'll circle back to whoever's bidding on Database Blob after this. Didn't see you there. So, hey, Five Devs. I'm taking your bid for Okamon. Okay, Unless you want me to circle back to you. I cannot hear you. All right, I'm going to circle back to you. Database blob. We'll do 60. Hello again. Hey, Dr. Garari. How are you, man? I don't know who Dr. Garari is. I'm Steve Stevenson, chief yeah. of third-party I'm sorry, Steve Stevenson. <laughs> but, We're going to uh, make a great proposal here. It's going to be one of the best you've seen for right. the database blob. I'm excited. Hit so. Me. We we understand the necessary data driven world we live in. Is there a visual so element I should be looking at here? Um, yes. We have a really great logo um, on our proposal. If you click the live stream, you can see it up here. Logos are um, a big selling point. I'm, great logo. Uh, did not plagiarize or did not very good. Point. So in this case, we're going to use uh, my SQL. Uh, Postgres SQL MongoDB uh, on a cloud hosted Linux computing box. Now, I don't know what any of those words mean, want. but I have heard that cloud word before. That's a good thing, right? People like I, that. The cloud's great. Okay. So, what we're proposing here is about two month development time uh, for a project cost of about $80,000. Real so, quick, just explain uh, cloud to me again. So, not necessary to have any on-prem hardware servers for our solution. If you can get to a web browser, you can B get to back our it application. Up a bit. What is a prem? Uh, on-prem is like a server, like a server room. Uh, what's a server? A co big computer. How big are we talking? Expensive? It's big, expensive, lots of overhead, not necessarily. So if I'm understanding you, if I go with you, I don't need the big, expensive computer. Yeah, no operational right. expenditures. So correct. it's free. No, it's not free. You're still going to be giving us money, both loads of money. But not for the but computer. When right? I'm, but not for the computer. How much are we We're saving? We're a software here? as a service. What are, what are we talking about in savings here? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not positive about the pricing for a server like this to run this application, but I think it, it's just a great deal all around being in the cloud. It's scalable. Um, the data will be secure. Like a, like a ladder, like I can climb it. 
it'll it'll be cheaper like to a expand. Big beautiful lab. Okay. Well, this all sounds great, except for that eighty thousand dollar price point. How would you be willing to take a share of the profits that we make when we resell your service to our third party contractors? Yes. I'd like to talk with my yeah. I think yeah. If, if Adam Absolutely. Says, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So does that mean that you're going to guarantee uh, delivery? Because we've got clients busting down the door for whatever this thing is. We can guarantee delivery within how how of much months. of a price cost are we talking? So we can offer you 15% of the gross profits from. I mean, the if services. you could offer to 30, I, I I think we have a final deal here. We can, we can do 20. But only if this is done in the middle within two months. Twenty five percent in two months, and you got a deal. We can we can do twenty two percent with a three percent bonus if finished before the two month mark. I think that sounds like a deal. We have a deal. Sounds here. great. Sounds right. great to me. Now, if you're more than three months late, we're gonna have to terminate this contract completely because, you know, that's just no money for no us. lateness on time. Okay. I'm. Two, two months sounds great okay well congratulations then and we're looking forward to working with you on database blob thank you mr stevenson thank you mr oh, Stevenson. just mr steve is fine mr steve my apologies sir no problem have a great day guys you as well Okay, I think that describes our terms with MacroHard well enough. Now let's go back to Five Devs and their bid on OKMon. Okay What's up, Five Devs? Five Devs, Five Devs. How do you do? Jack. Devs. We just had it working. <laughs> Jack. At company code, the IT oh, okay. department tells okay. us. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, cool. Um, so we are going to uh, bid on OKMon, and we believe that OKMon is going to be a fantastic game. Uh, as I'm sure your marketing department agrees. Um, we don't really care then, about the quality. We just need it to be something that grandmothers miss here when their kids mispronounce what they want for christmas oh the confusability is all through the roof um so what we are proposing is um two hundred thousand uh for and uh the contract and we will have the game done in three months and you also will incorporate or... an in-app purchase system is that rubles, where pesos players... what currency is that the currency for like the contract you I mean, mean you just said two hundred thousand that's 200,000 United States dollars. American dollars? Good old American dollars, For a yes. card game? I can make it out of cardboard, guys. See, but here's the thing. We will have these in-app purchases where you, Mr. Steve, will be able to receive money even if you're not doing anything. It's called it's passive income. It's fantastic. How just long sit is on it going to take us to, to break even on this if we pay you 200 Gs? Uh, we... Uh, do not know because we are not the uh, business department in the um, – or we don't have a marketing department in that aspect. But um, we estimate in our humble opinions that you will break even with these in-app purchases and downloads of the game in about three months after it is uh, launched. Three whole months. You know how much money we could have made and test the call options by then? You, But you see, this is – um, you know, it's going to not – it's not only passive income you'll get for three months. It's passive income until like the game is like you know, you get passive income for like the entirety of the game. Like as long as the game exists, you will be getting passive income. What happens so when the kids move on to the the next big card game like Uno? Um, actually, um, this game is so uh, revolutionary it will never be moved on from. That's okay. the thing. I I think your vision is a little bit bigger than what we're looking for here at Company Company. Oh, okay, okay. We want something I, I, smaller. I 
not as interesting field. and a whole lot cheaper. You know, we're not looking for good here. We're looking for okay. Okay. So okay, I, okay. we appreciate your bid. And, um, uh, we can we can adjust our uh, offer to one hundred and twenty five k for two months. One hundred and twenty five k. Hmm. Nah, that's that's still that's that's a little overly ambitious. You know, we're we're really. Well, we're ambitious thinkers over here at Five Devs. Um, well, here at Company Co, we're all about the bottom line. We're not trying to make okay. art here, okay? You're not painting a Van Gogh. It's just a silly card game. We got some cardboard. Got some cards. But the same silly card game that happens to be with another company that rhymes with Okamon okay has been getting someone money since 1995. So that's why we believe that Okamon okay can find similar success to a similar card game which uh, is irrelevant due to the greatness of Okamon. Okay hmm. All right, all right. We're, we're going to put it to consideration, but uh, I, I wouldn't be particularly optimistic about it, folks. I think you have a different vision okay, for this okay, than okay. we do. We can we can do we can do even better. Um, or I think we're talking. Um, we'll say ninety k for a month. Ninety k in one month. Hmm. Yeah. How many uh, developer hours is that taking you? How, how long are you working on that? Uh, well, a month. You see, it has four weeks. Four weeks is five working days. Five working days is eight hours. Eight times five is forty. Forty times four is one hundred and sixty. Oh, that's a lot of math for me. Right I'm just a humble business minor. I don't know that much math. Eight hundred man hours. That's a lot. That's a fair amount. All right. Well, that's a lot of work for, you said, 90K, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, Going to be done in a month. Listen, we're open to the offer, but here's what we can do for you. It, we'll pay you 90K if you can finish within a month and if the game generates a profit within the first six. Otherwise, uh, I don't think we can pay you anything. So if you're willing to take that kind of payment structure, we can give it a shot. Hmm. So you're saying that if it doesn't generate a profit within the first six months of its launch, we're not getting paid anything. That's right. And you also have to finish within one month. If it's late to launch, uh, you know, we'll have wasted all these marketing dollars. Obviously, we're going to promote the game. We got physical manufacturing to ramp up, so we're taking all the risk here. Mm. Well, I don't believe that it would be smart of five devs to uh, take a project with no promise of reward. So I believe that if we were to ac accomplish a uh, uh, a structure to the tune of, let's see, 80K, guaranteed, done in a month and a half, and you only pay us uh, 70K if we don't get a profit in six months. 70K. Hmm, we can give you a percentage of the profits that we make within the first two years. Hmm. Okay. So how about this? What if we do, we'll have the game done month and a half, right? Month. You, uh, we get a month. Okay. We can, you said, we can month. You said you could do it in a month. Well, 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 that, that would be uh very, we, that would be fairly rushed. And I believe that, uh, the fine gentleman over at, uh, your firm would want a high quality game, right? No. Rush no, fine. you don't want a high quality game. Hmm. Okay, no, we, well, we don't really do high quality here. Okay, um, so we believe that it would be more reasonable for it to be a month and a half. Um, so how about a month and a half, seventy-five k up front, and of all the in-app purchases, you get eighty percent or nine eighty-five percent of all the in-app purchases, and the other fifteen goes to us. Hmm. Pass. Pass. Okay. What if I do ninety and ten? Pass. You get ninety percent. Uh, of the in app purchases, we get 10. Well, we'll uh, oh, pass that upfront fee is just too high. We're taking all the risk here. Hmm. Uh, what if we lowered the upfront fee to let's say 70k? Let's say 0k, 0k, hmm. and then 75k on delivery within a month and a half, five percent of the in app purchases. Uh, I'll have to ask my uh, fellow team what they think of this. All right, go ahead and consult. I'll go check out some other bids in the meantime. All right. Okay, any more bids left for other um, platforms? Uh, I think almost everyone has a project. Let's see. Scuff won something. Sanix won something. Macrohard won something. Cornhub won something. We got Collective Brain Cell. 
the other macro art. <laughs> so, everybody except five devs has a project at the moment. All right. And you can head out if you want. Obviously, class is over here. Let me pop back in with five devs. See if they've made a decision. No, then you say eight. Eight, five uh, devs. Speak of the devil. All right, here we are. <laughs> we, have up, we, have, we have figured out our uh, predicament okay. between our two firms. We will accept an offer of zero up front, 75K upon completion in a month and a half, and 10%, and you keep 90% of the in-app purchase money, and we get 10. Sounds like a deal. All right, then. Month and a half. All right. Okay, man. We'll tell I our factory to start printing these things right away. You know it. We'll just glue the art on later. Of course. <laughs> I hear that uh, the head, uh, you know, character of Okamon is uh, not... Uh, we'll go... Uh, actually, never mind. That's up to you guys. You guys just determine the characters. We just program them. Fantastic. All right. Well, we're looking right. forward to working with you. Our artists will be in touch soon. All right. Sick. All right. Have a great day. You do. All right. Thanks to all of our bidders today, especially those who offered us contracts for a very small amounts of money. Company Co is looking forward to working with all of you, and I'll go around the Discord to say hello to everybody if you're still around. So, adios, and have a good week. I'll see you Wednesday.